and thank you for joining me here at Why the Book Wins. Today is another Folio Society video. This is the third one I have done. So if you want to check out my past two Folio Society videos, you definitely should. The ones in today's video are all ones that I found on eBay. So they are no longer in print. And so some of them are more rare and more expensive because of that. And this is also going to be the last Folio Society video I do for a little while, because once I show you the video, the books in this video, like I won't have any others to talk about until I buy more. And before we get into it, if you are not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram and all of that good stuff. So let's just get right into my Folio Society books. I'm going to start with Beloved by Toni Morrison. All of the books in today's video, the slip cases are just plain colors. I love it when they have a design. For example, Haunting of Hill House has a really cool slip case, but all the ones in today's videos are just a blank color. Anyway, this one is Beloved by Toni Morrison. This is one of my favorite books. Incredible. It is about trauma, really, and like this trauma of slavery. And we follow Setha and her daughter Denver and this guy named Paul D, I think, Paul D, who she had known years prior and now he shows up again in her life. And then this other woman named Beloved shows up and, and it's almost like it was scarier than I had expected because it is like a ghost story. And it's also very intense and it's very sad and it's a very heavy read, but it is incredible. Morrison is an amazing writer, just beautiful prose. So well done, highly recommend. I have Beloved in Folio Society as well as Easton Press. And yeah, I highly recommend it. And I love the cover with how shiny that is, so beautiful. And this one is from 2015 and is illustrated by Joe Morse. But I think I'm actually gonna switch the camera angle when I show you these books. I think it works better when I'm holding the camera and showing you. So we're going to switch angles and I will show you the illustrations in this amazing book. All right, so here is Beloved. As I said, illustrated by Joe Morse, and this was published in 2015. Such amazing illustrations, and I love the color scheme too. This one is pretty creepy, but it's kind of a weird scene, so it's fitting. Like I said, this book was like, I mean, it's upsetting, but it was also just kind of scarier. Not that it was scary. I don't know. It's hard to put this in a, a genre, but yeah, definitely some intense scenes, as you can see, but highly recommend. And yeah, that wraps it up for Beloved. Next up is this box set edition of the Chronicles of Narnia. I love these books so much. I read them as a kid for the first time. I think I was like in third grade when I started reading like Magician's Nephew. I don't know how old I was when I read all seven, but I've definitely read the whole series more than once. But my favorite books are The Last Battle for sure. Um, and then The Silver Chair which is the second to last book. Those two might be my favorites. It has been a while since I read one. I read The Last Battle in like 2016, but I don't think I've read any of the other books since then. So I should definitely give these a reread. And now there are, there is another Folio Society edition of these books. So there's the blue ones, which are these right here. And then there are green ones. And the reason I chose these ones instead of the green ones is because the green ones all have the same cover on each book, whereas these ones are different. And that honestly is the reason why. <laughs> the green ones have a cooler like box set, you know, it's like a map, so that's cool. So I'll include a picture so you can see. I would like to add those to my collection as well at some point, but we will see, they're pretty pricey. Here's the example of one of the covers. So they each have an illustration from the book on the cover, but these editions are from 1996, so definitely older. And the illustrations inside aren't 
like unique to Folio Society. In this case, they are illustrations that you get like in pretty much any edition and most editions of Chronicles of Narnia. So they are the original illustrations that came in the books. Once again, I will switch angles and I will show you these in a bit more detail. So for Chronicles of Narnia, I just have a few different ones here to check out. As you can see, they have different covers. So this one is Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the most popular one. Pauline Baines, 1996. And again, these are the illustrations that are in most editions of the Chronicles of Narnia. But they're amazing though, I love them. Very cool. I do love pen illustrations. This one, the horse and his boy. This one is my sister's favorite from the series. I'll just show you a few from here before moving on. Fantasy books definitely aren't like a favorite genre of mine. But like I said, these are ones I read as a kid and I love them. And even as an adult, like I said, I read one not that long ago and still enjoyed it. Trying to find a full page one. Here is a full page illustration from The Silver Chair. So yeah, really cool illustrations in these. It would be cool if they Folio could do an edition that has unique drawings because I'm pretty sure the green books are also the same, but I would have to double check. But yeah, The Chronicles of Narnia. Very cool. Up next is The Phantom of the Opera that has this awesome wraparound cover. This one is by Gaston LaRue, and this edition is from 2019, so one of the more recent ones. And yeah, this is really cool. The spine, or not the spine, but like the pages have a design as well, which is so cool, so awesome. And yeah, this book, I loved it. I read it for the first time just like a month ago, and I would highly recommend. It is definitely creepier than the musical is. <laughs> it's more like along the lines of the silent film to some extent, but you obviously get more story than you get in the silent film because the silent film is a very short movie. But yeah, I highly recommend this and this is a beautiful edition. So let's give it a look. So here we have the Phantom of the Opera. And again, that is just so cool. And these drawings remind me more of like Spain or something, but I guess it's still fitting. Illustrated by Simon, or sorry, by Taylor Jolin, 2019. Wow. Pretty cool. So yeah, definitely unique illustrations in this one. But yeah, really cool and happy to have this one in my collection. Now I just need the Deluxe Easton Press one. <laughs> Then we have Kindred by Octavia Butler. This is a dust jacket, or not a dust jacket. This slipcase does have an image. So we have that, and then the image in a different color right there. So awesome. And this one is about time travel. 
And so the different colors are like her in different times, as I'm assuming is what it means, but it's just such a beautiful illustration though. And then the cover is also really cool. And yeah, this one, I read it, I don't know, a couple months ago for the first time. It's amazing. It is written in the 70s. This edition was done in 2019. So the same year as Phantom of the Opera. But this one is about a woman in the 70s, which is when it was originally written. It is about a black woman who time travels to the 1800s when slavery is still happening. And she doesn't have any control over the time travel. It just happens. And she realizes it's because she has a connection to an ancestor of hers who lives in this time period and they have a connection between them. And so, yeah, it was a great book. Again, it can be heavy at times, but I loved it. I couldn't put it down. I actually listened to it on audio, but I listened to it fast and I was always looking forward to getting out on my run so that I could listen to more of it. And the narrator was really good for the audiobook, by the way. But yeah, amazing book, highly recommend. It is one that is read in schools. Like I had someone comment who is a school teacher and she said she has her students read it, which I think is great. If you like teach junior high or high school, this is definitely one that I think younger people should be reading. And let's take a look on the inside. So here is Kindred. Illustrated by James E. Ransom from 2019. I love when they have like the full page. Again, such amazing colors. And yeah, that wraps it up for the illustrations in here. Such incredible, and I love the cover too. Then we have this edition of Brave New World, which is really cool with how shiny it is. Sorry, you're getting all these reflections in it though, but this one is really awesome. This one was printed in the UK. So Folio Society has like their UK editions and their US editions. So this one I bought on eBay from someone in the UK. And yeah, I just, I think that cover is so cool. This edition is from 1971, one of the older Folio Society books I have. I also have a Jane Eyre edition from the 60s. So that one is the oldest, but this one is definitely up there as well. This is one I've read twice, but the last time I read it, it was like 2011, so it's been a long time. I read it like in 2010 and then again in 2011, and I loved it both times. So I think I'm gonna read it, give it a reread in June, June or July so that I can make sure I like it as much as I remember liking it because I have the Folio Society as well, again, as an Easton Press. So I have two editions, even though I haven't read it in like 10 years, but it is of course by Aldous Huxley and it is a dystopian world he wrote about and he published this originally like in the 40s, I wanna say, maybe the 30s. It's pretty accurate to what today's day and age is like in a lot of ways. But again, this is one I need to reread because I do remember some of the bigger points of the story, but I want to give it a reread before I talk too in detail about it. Yeah, let's take a look at the illustrations. Moving on to Brave New World. Leonard Rosoman, 1971. Such amazing drawings. I mean, they're all amazing, but there is something I like about the black and white ink drawings. Pretty weird illustrations, but the book itself is pretty weird and it's dystopian future thing. And one last one. So yeah, that is Brave New World, one I need to reread sometime soon.
And then my last Folio Society eBay find is this edition of David Copperfield. Comes with just a maroon slipcase. So this one is quite a large book, <laughs> but the illustrations are really unique. Just look at that cover. I love how it's like collage style. And now this is not one I have finished reading. I started it, I started the audiobook, and I was taking my time with it. And then at some point I just stopped. <laughs> so I like DNF'd it, but it, like I plan on finishing it though. I just ended up taking a break from it rather than not finishing it, I'm just taking a break. I heard someone, I think it was Books with Brittany, she said how instead of DNF, it should be NFN, which stands for not for now. So this was one where it's like, I wasn't willing to dedicate the time it needed for now, but later this year, I plan on finishing it and really dedicating myself to finishing this because I was loving it. I just, like I said, it required too much time and there were other things I wanted to be doing and reading, so I just stopped. But anyway, this is a really cool edition though. It is again, a UK edition and it is from 1983, so another older one. And I don't recall this one being very expensive. The most expensive one here was my Chronicles of Narnia books and Beloved. The rest of these, well, Brave New World was expensive for shipping, but the rest of these weren't like too much money. But yeah, let's take a look. So on to David Copperfield. Christopher, or sorry, Charles Keeping, 1983. This is such a long book. <laughs> But again, these are those pen illustrations I love. Sorry, I'm missing some. It can be hard to stop the pages in time. But yeah, I really love these drawings. And yeah, that is David Copperfield. And yeah, this is really unique how the front and the back, it's just a collage of all the illustrations from the inside. Not all of them, of course, but. But yeah, so that is David Copperfield. And there we have it with my Folio Society books. All these other ones you see are ones I have talked about in the past video, so you can check those out. Folio Society is so amazing. They recently released their summer editions and they did have some that I liked, specifically another Philip K. Dick, which this one right here is Philip K. Dick. And they released another one that was a short story collection of his, as well as an edition of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which I actually don't like that book, but I was tempted to get it. I do like the illustrations. Ralph Steadman has such a unique way of drawing. And honestly, the David Copperfield illustrations kind of remind me of him in some ways, but I was a little tempted to get that one. However, I did not. I haven't bought any Folio Society books in a little while, actually. Kindred was my most recent purchase and that was from like a month ago now, maybe longer. So yeah, I haven't bought any from them in a little while, but of course I will be buying more because <laughs> they just have beautiful books. So in the future, you'll be seeing another Folio Society book haul video at some point. But that wraps it up for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and I will see you next time. Bye.